Does your tractor seat look like this? This is our Kubota. You can see it's got all these cracks in it. I went to the Kubota place and I tried to order a new seat. They wanted $350 just for this bottom cushion. The entire seat would cost about $1,000. So I'm gonna try doing this using spray foam that you do for insulation at your house and then cover it with flex seal. I got the spray foam insulation that's supposed to do the minimal cracks and not the one that fills a wide gap. So let's see how it works. It's been uh, just about two hours. This has been drying. Seems pretty cured. The, the bottle, the can says it can take up to four hours. I'm not very patient. So I'm gonna start taking my knife here and carefully cutting this away. Let's see what happens, I guess. Let's see if I have any regrets for acting too too soon. So far, so good. Have to get this even Steven with the, the vinyl or whatever this stuff is made out of sort of fake leather, rubber. I might have to get some sandpaper. We'll find out. But I'm going to do that to the whole seat. So far so good, it's going pretty easily. Um, what I'm having to do is, when you see some of this material kind of lifts up here, and that's not gonna be very comfortable to sit on. So I've been taking the, the knife, the blade, and kind of cutting Trying to contour it to make it flat. One of the bummers I've realized is how porous this is. You know, original stuff, nice kind of shell on the outside, but when you cut it away, it's porous on the inside, and I don't know how you would ever overcome that. So I'm hoping when I do the flex seal that that'll fill things in and take care of it. We'll see. Okay, I'm making progress. So now I'm taking a little bit of sandpaper here and scuffing up the seat, evening things out. I'm curious how well the flex seal adheres to this. You know, this is pretty smooth and not very porous. So hopefully the sandpaper will make it bond better. Time to do the flex seal. I've masked off the, the chair there for overspray. Now the directions say that to wait 24 to 48 hours uh, for it to dry before you do another coat. Problem is, we use this tractor every day. I don't have 24, or maybe, but I don't have 48 hours to to put the second coat on and wait for that. So we're gonna have to play that by ear and see what happens. This is what it looks like after I put a coat on. I thought I'd go really slowly because people have complained about flex steel um, not adhering evenly and kind of being goopy. Well, I put on a light coat and that clearly wasn't going to do the trick. So I put it on really thick and one of the things I was concerned about is the, the porousness of, um, of the insulation and as you can see there are holes there It's going to take a lot of flex seal to fill those and I can't do that until this dries and if I can do it at all So I don't know this may end up being a fail Might have to use duct tape or flex seal tape or something This may not work After several days I realized I was going to need a lot of this stuff so I've really gooped it on now and this is the second coat. I know it's probably hard to see with the sun glare. But let this dry and come back in another couple days. So this is the second coat. And you can see uh, there's still holes here. It's going to need a third coat. So I put two very heavy coats, which basically came out to one full can of the Flex Seal. And now we're going to be on to the second can. All right, here goes coat number three. If I had a 
stretch of very warm weather lately which makes this process a lot easier. See how thick I'm putting it on? And it still goes in these holes and I'm not sure if I'm ever going to be able to fill these holes. Check her out. I'm going to call this the final product. Yes, I could keep uh, squirting it with flex seal and more and more coats and maybe i will but uh you know not too bad if i were to do this again i uh, see how it's lumpy here i would cut out more of the foam the foam that's part of the seat and also the foam that i sprayed in and then i would have flattened it out and then just contoured it more but you know i've sat and sat on it it's not uncomfortable it's not the best but you know I, over time it's going to squish down and contour and at this point, it's better than spending $370 for just a cushion. So uh, maybe you'll learn from my mistakes and yours will turn out like the Mona Lisa and you'll be the, uh, everyone will be jealous of you in the farming world. But uh, good luck with your project.